Hello and welcome to quickkt.com. This tutorial video is about logistic regression theory. So what is logistic regression? Logistic regression is used to predict the outcome variable which is categorical. Okay. So what is a categorical variable? A categorical variable is a variable that can take only specific and limited values. For example, gender is a categorical variable because it can only take male and female as values and some variables which which takes yes or no as values and zero or one etc so these kind of variables are called as categorical variable so let's consider a scenario that i have data of some students the data is about how are studied before the exam and whether they passed in the exam or not so this is how the data looks so for example a student who studied for one hour he did not pass in the exam and for a student who studied for 10.2 hours, he passed in the exam. So this is how the data looks. So if we scatter plot our data, it will look something like this. We can see that the, the y-axis is having only 0 or 1 as uh, the output. So if we do a normal linear regression over our data, this is what happens. So we know that the output should be either 0 or 1 but our linear regression is producing all sorts of values between 0 and 1. So that's not the actual problem. The actual problem is it is producing negative values and values greater than 1 which are impossible values and which has no meaning. right? So we need a better regression line than this. Logistic regression is something we should look at and this is how the logistic regression fits our data. So let me first explain the logistic function. Most often we would want to predict our outcomes as yes or no. For example, is your favorite football team going to win the match today? Does a student pass in the exam? Okay, so the logistic function is given by f of x equal to L by 1 plus e power minus k into x minus x naught. Okay, so I am interested in a specific form of logistic function called as the sigmoid function where the value of k is equal to 1, x naught is equal to 0 and L is equal to 1. If we substitute these values, the equation then becomes s of x equal to 1 by 1 plus e power minus x and the logistic curve will look like this so the logistic curve gives the logistic function gives an s shaped curve so we can see that the curve resembles the letter s so this curve has a finite limit of 0 as x approaches minus infinity and plus 1 as the x approaches plus infinity okay the output see in this curve we can observe that the output at uh, x equal to 0 is uh, 0 0.5 so if any value which is greater than 0 0.5 we can classi the classify them as 1 and for any values of y which is less than 0 0.5 we can classify them as 0. So one more thing we can um, do using the logistic uh, or the sigmoid curve is for example let me assume that the value of y is equal to 0 0.65. So what we can, what we can uh, do using this value is we can say in terms of probability as there is a 65 percent chance that our favorite football team is going to win today okay so we can use the values of the sigmoid function not just to classify 0 or 1 we can also determine the probability or the possibility of the of certain event of either it is going to occur or not so this is this is how we can use the logistic function values as well Okay, now let me show you how um, the logistic function works using Python. So I'm going to 
show how the logistic curve using uh, python so i'm going to need uh, math and numpy for mathematical operations and uh, matplotlib for plotting the graphs okay i'm going to define my sigmoid function here it is according to the equation that i have shown you 1 by 1 plus e power minus x so i'm doing for for each value of x i'm doing 1 by 1 plus math dot exponential to the power of minus i term so it's essentially the same as this equation now i'm going to generate some values for x so these values will be ranging from minus 10 to plus 9.8 with a difference of 0 0.2 for example it is minus 10 minus 9.8 minus 9.6 and then 0 0 0.2 0 0.4 and then finally the last value is 9.8 i'm going to pass all of these values inside our sigmoid function and check the value of y so this line will do that y is equal to sigmoid of x so now i have uh, the values of values for x axis as well as y axis I'm going to plot these values and see how it looks so this is how the output looks right so we can observe that if x is very negative so if x is very negative the output is almost 0 and if x is very positive the output is almost 1 so this is how the logistic function works in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do logistic regression using a Python package called uh, scikit-learn. So if you have any questions, please leave 